Hello everyone, welcome to the Car Spectrum. Brandon here with my brother Brett. And today we're doing a video to introduce this car right here. It is a 1987 Corvette that my brother bought for $5,000. And we're gonna go through what a $5,000 Corvette can get you. Uh, well, at least what $5,000 Corvettes look like here in New York. So, start off has this nice red paint. There is some blemishes here and there. So we got a little bit of blemish right there. A clear coat. A little clear coat peel. Has the original wheels still though all around. Car does run and drive decently. It needs a few things. Just went through a full tune up on it. So, you know, plugs, wires, you know, rotor strip cap, all that good stuff. The wheels. The exterior of their car is actually in pretty decent shape overall. We have a few things that we need to address on here. Um, you know, we need the new emblems. A um, little bit of a body, something with the body panel over here. It doesn't line up very well. Got some weather stripping dry rot over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some weather stripping dry rot over here. Nothing too crazy, though. What do you expect for, you know, original uh, weather stripping after, you know, 30 plus years? So the real story of this car comes with the interior. And this is where uh, she needs some love. Right. Here, he's going to buy new seats, I believe, right? You're not reupholstering. You're buying new seats new completely. Seats. New seats completely. He's going to redo the carpet. If he has new carpet coming. Everything else, though, has hundred, almost 130,000 miles on it. It's really, the interior needs some love. Something on the roof here looks like this glass is like cracked or something. Um, this does leak a little bit. Um, it's probably due to the bad weather stripping over here though. It leaks through over in this area right here. Uh, car does start though. If you wanna give me keys, I'll start it for him. Starts and drives. Starts and drives. All right, let's see here. We'll get this car going for you. Has a CD player in it. It's crazy. It's crazy, I think. Car starts right up. Gauges work. All the gauges work. They're starting to fade. They're starting to fade a little bit, but nothing too crazy. AC and heat works. I mean, this is all, you know, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Open up the trunk real quick so you can see that. Or open up the hatch, not the trunk. This is where most of the carpet needs to be addressed. I don't know what happened back here to this carpet, but it, it saw some time. These are just some tarps that the car was under. So he's got to get all the new rear carpet. I think he found your rear carpet, was it $600? The uh, whole $600 set? for the whole set for the front and the rear. Stock, stock exhaust. Everything's stock on this car, pretty much except the table player. But it would just, I mean, might as well be stock at this point. Might as well. Uh, you want to pop the hood open so we can look underneath? Here's the engine, 130,000 miles. Definitely needs a little bit of a cleanup. Just, we just did uh, new plugs, new wires, all that stuff. Um, missing the cap that goes over here. Um, I don't know where that went. Just put some new headlights in though, nice and clear. And the motors do work. The motors do work, the headlights do flip up. They're starting to get a little noisy. We'll actually flip those up for you right now. Uh, do you want to close this hood, bud? Flip open the headlights for you so you can hear them. Yeah, it's starting to get a little noisy. Those motors are probably going to need to be replaced soon. But they do flip up. So for some reason, you guys can hear the fan is on constantly. Um, that is due to the previous owner wired up the fancy. Yeah, 
since that he has the previous owner set up a switch there to keep the fans on like permanently which does give me a little worry that maybe there was some type of overheating issue at one point however the car you know i've only had it so far for the winter and driving it i haven't had it go over 180 degrees yeah, he might have put a lower thermostat in there i know it's a popular thing to do with these cars because these cars typically run a little hot even from the factory brand new you would see them into the in you know the 215 range 220 230 um but overall i mean it's a project car for him he does have that ram that's his daily driver so this is we're going to try to get this ready before the summer and we're going to give you guys updates as we go along um it's cool that my little brother joined the group and you know he's got a c4 now i have my c4 you guys have seen it uh, my dad has the c8 that i'm sorry sorry the c7 that we've uh introduced to the channel a long time ago he still has it uh, his Z06. So we're going to be doing more content with this. Uh, Performance-wise, I think you're going to keep this stock pretty much, right? Pretty much. I mean, I, I thought about maybe putting uh, some floor masses on it. Make it sound a little nasty, but you know, it's not often you can find one that's really stock like this. No, but, but for $5,000, I mean, this is what a $5,000 vet will get you here uh, in New York. Um, you know, these the cars fluctuate prices, you know, different parts of the country. Not just for Corvettes, but for any car in general. Um, and this is basically what five thousand dollars will get you here. So you got to change the door panels. That's another thing we're gonna do. A lot of it's cosmetic. I mean, interior. I mean, mechanically it needs a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And it's just it's crazy how quick like the car market has changed. Because this is my second C4, and the first one I had was pretty much the same price and a lot better machine. We got that lot lower mines. five years ago. We got that. I was. 18 at the time I'm talking three four years ago yeah c4s have went up 61, value 61 000 miles convertible was in perfect condition you know c4s have definitely gone up in value but we're gonna have fun with this car and you know we'll, we'll do a comparison between mine and his to see if there's any differences between the 87 and the 89 really not that much um but this is brandon from car spectrum uh, and we look forward to giving more updates on this car have a great day everyone